What's going on YouTube? Professor X8 here, welcoming you back to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green 151 Nuzlocke Let's Play. So we kicked things off this episode with a quick grinding montage, or at least I hope it's quick. Uh, it, for you guys at least, for me it took an hour and a half, maybe? I think something like that. It was quite, quite the effort, but we finally have a new member on our team who can fly at last. We have Batman the Crobat. With his bashful nature, level 10 to level 59 and a single grinding montage. Uh, so he's he's pretty strong, pretty fast, and he currently knows uh, acrobatics, poison fang, fly and bite. For those of you that didn't watch the grinding montage, for those of you did, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's our final, our newest team member to round out the team. We'll have a quick recap of the rest of the team members. So we could currently have, uh, alongside Batman, we have Pea Shooter, our Victory Bell, who knows uh, Leaf Blade, Growth, Knock Off, and Sleep Powder. We have Kitsune, our Nine Tails, who knows Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, Extra Sentry, and Will O Wisp. Tesla, our Electrode, who knows Thunderbolt, Swift, Charge Beam, and Signal Beam. Knuckles, our Sand Slash, who knows Earthquake, Swords Dance, Rock Slide, and Strength. And finally, Levi, our Gyarados. Who knows Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, and Surf? So uh, we're gonna we'll, we'll lead with Batman for a bit. He's had a hell of a lot of screen time, but um, some of you might not have seen him, so we're, we'll uh, lead with him. So that those of you that skipped the grinding montage can become acquainted with him. Anyway, let's jump over to we did Four Island, we finished it up, so let's jump over to Five Island instead and see what's going on over here. So up here we've got some guy, He's uh, it's been getting busier around these parts lately, I haven't been catching many good fish lately either. That's a shame. Uh, what's this guy say? Oh this stinks, I wanted to play in the bedroom but they put up a weird building on it so I can't play there. That would be the Rocket Warehouse, uh, Five Island, Chrono Island, where time goes. Where time goes? <laughs> okay, where time goes where? Time goes slowly, time goes fast. Anyway, that meadow has belonged to our family for generations. I should have had a giant mansion built on it. It would be preferable to having those thugs run wild on it. Well, we're going to go and uh, clean up the island. Let's have a let's nip in here, see what these people say. Uh, there's only the one. What does she say? Don't worry about buying anything for dinner tonight. That's what my husband said when he went off fishing today. I'm not sure I can count on him to live up to that promise. Oh dear. <laughs> I always find it weird, the thought that some people eat Pokemon. Anyway, so we'll get an encounter in the meadow here. But we'll also have an encounter with this rocket grub. This area is strictly off limits. Out. Out! We won't. We won't get out. We instead will take you on. He sends out a Rattata, probably level 4. Wow. Okay, so the game suddenly decided that it needs to step up... Uh, step up the teams of the Team Rocket Grunts because last time they were level 38 now they're level 48 that's fine I'm not going to complain about that uh, they're still easy to beat unfortunately but uh, so he leads he's going to follow up with a muck well acrobatics hits quite hard as we don't currently have a held item on Batman <laughs> down it goes this is what I'm talking about Batman seems to hit very hard very hard indeed uh, couldn't have ever used him before uh before we got the national decks, obviously, because we've only had a goal bat. And as a goal bat, he wasn't hitting quite so hard. As a crow bat, absolute beast. Uh, so we beat that Team Rocket Grunt there. Um, is this for real? Yes, it is. The champion of Kanto has come to clean up this island. Get rid of you bad guys. Uh, so we encounter a Pidgey. Already had a Pidgey, so we can't catch that. Uh, I don't know what we're going to get in this meta. Uh, as our encounter, but... Oh, there we go, a Centret. I thought that was shiny for a second. I thought Centret was darker brown than that. Anyway, we're just going to chuck an Ultra Ball at it. It's only level 10. I can't imagine it's going to... Uh... can't imagine it's going to... Uh, manage to break out an Ultra Ball. Uh, anyway, we catch it. Uh, we'll see what, the, see what the Pokedex says about it quickly. It stands on its tail so it can see a long way. If it spots an enemy, it cries loudly to warn its kind. Do we want to give it a nickname? We do. Let's call our Sentra. We're going to call it. Uh, we're going to call it Lookout. Lookout the Sentra. 
place it in box one and we will carry on our quest to rid the island of Team Rocket. You'd be wasting time even if you were to get behind it. Would I now? Would I indeed? Team Rocket Grub would like to battle and sends out an Echoes. Well, we should be able to deal with this pretty easily with uh, Batman here. So we get intimidated, drops our attack a bit, but we shouldn't be too worried about that, I don't think. Acrobatics comes through there. Down goes Ekans. And we gain 637 XP. Next up, Gloom. That's easily going to go down to an Acrobatics. I, mean, I think that's the only Grunt that I've ever seen that has a Gloom. I don't think I've ever seen another Grunt in... Pokemon Fire Red that has anything other than like Zubats and Rattatas and stuff. But there is there is a Team Rocket admin in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Gold Silver, Crystal, whichever, that has glooms and vile plumes and stuff like that. Maybe. Maybe this is like a an homage to that, or maybe she's meant to be the person who becomes the admin of Team Rocket or something. I don't know. Oh that makes me furious. <laughs> what makes you furious that you lost the Pokemon battle? to me, who everybody keep calling a child. There's nothing past here except our warehouse, so what brings you here? Your warehouse. <laughs> it's a bit of a silly question, really. Uh, so he's going to send out a coughing. We're going to send out our Batman. Uh, hit with, in fact, we're going to switch Pokemon. We've still got some that need to, uh, need to level up a bit to catch up with the rest. So we're going to send Young Knuckles out here. Coffee uh, goes for a smoke screen, dropping, uh, dropping her accuracy, but she connects with the strength regardless. Uh, and Coffee goes for a sludge, which won't be very effective. But does get the poison, of course. Oh, well, let's uh, let's hit with the strength. No, I was going to say we'll try and hit with the strength, but memento. Our attack actually fell, and special attack actually fell, but coughing goes down. Uh, we gain 598 XP. Uh, Weezing? Yeah. Well, we are going to be using a full heal here. There they are, we've got plenty of them left. Uh, so we use full heal on Knuckles. Uh, he goes for a sludge, probably get the poison of the game. Okay, he doesn't, which is nice. And we will go for a couple of swords dances. As we need to get our attack back up from that memento. Uh, smoke, uh, Weezy goes for another smoke screen, which is rather annoying. Uh, we're just going to keep swords dancing for now. Get our attack stat up a bit. I think uh, if we can connect with a strength, we should be alright at this point. Oh, yes, Knuckles! Comes through, hits with the strength, and oh, so close! Goes for another sludge, probably gets the poison. Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> Knuckles doesn't care about those smoke screens. Knuckles hits with another strength, down goes Wheezy. We gain 1816 XP, and Knuckles hits level 60. And we defeat Team Rocket Grunt. So let's go and have a look at this warehouse. I know we've got the one password Goldie Need Log. Another password is needed to open the door. So that's pretty much all that we can do on this island for now. So we'll switch, uh, we'll switch Levi out front. Uh, Batman, you can fly us back to port. I know it's not particularly far, but saves us walking. Um, let's go into the Poké Center. I don't know what I did there. I did a little dance or something. Uh, would, would you like me to heal? Yes, please. Ah. <sighs> Thank you, we've restored your Pokemon, and we hope to see you again. Still gets me that they thought that that was a good idea to say, we hope to see you again. Anyway, let's jump over to Six Island now, and uh, see what's in store for us over here. Uh, I, I don't actually remember this island very well. Uh, Fortune Island of Aged Wisdom. When you're this far away from the city, the sky at night is fantastic. I'm sure it is. Keep going this way and you'll get to the water path. Stay in that and you'll get to the ruined valley. And I feel like that is probably where we need to go. But I feel like there's some, probably something around here. What's that? 
A leper berry. Okay. Is there a shadow there? I wonder whether there's another part of the island up there. Or maybe it was something they put in, but uh, removed at a later point. Because there's no way to get up there. Uh, I wonder whether I can bring the map up online at some point. Anyway, what's this guy say? I practice in secret, in secret so no one can see me. Fair enough. Good. Oh, good. Uh, Juggler Edward sends out a Voltor. So that's what he's practicing. He's practicing his juggling. Well, we don't have too much to worry about, I don't think. Uh, we're just going to go straight for a waterfall here. And it should take it down. Down goes the enemy Voltor. And we gain 1,014 XP. It's going to follow up with another Voltor. No, oh, survive. My guess is three volt orbs and an electrode or four volt orbs. I don't think he'll have anything outside of them. We get 1014 XP. He's going for an electrode. Uh, so we're going to hit this again with a waterfall. No point going for anything else, really. Uh, we get the critical hit. Just to make sure. Levi there. Hitting hard, hitting fast. Taking no uh, no prisoners. Oh, okay. So he does have a Mr. Mind as well. Well, <laughs> we're just going to spam waterfall. Nothing else. And down goes Mr. Mind. Should get us a decent amount of XP. 1,398. Nearly puts us up uh, a level. Not too far off at this point. And uh, let's jump on. Uh, let's jump on Levi's back and go for a bit of a surf. My boyfriend's always busy, so I come swimming by myself. Oh, it's a bit sad. Uh, Swimmer Denise sends out Chinchu. I actually really like Chinchu. I think it's one of my favourite uh, Generation 2 Pokemon. Um, I, I, especially lo I especially like Lanta. And uh, competitively, um, although he's quite out there in terms of whether you should use him or not, he's He's very tricky to play against, which is why I love using him. So I've got something in my eye. There he is. So uh, a lot of people don't actually know how to deal with Lanta, because obviously they don't encounter it very often. So they, they sometimes, if you've got something... Oh dear, Shockwave comes through. Oh. No, Levi will shrug it off. Levi will shrug off that four times super effective attack and uh, connect with Waterfall. Sorry. Uh, down goes Lantern. We gain ourselves how much? 1,638 XP points. And get to level 60. Um, as I say, so Lantern, because of the water electric, um, it also has water absorb or it has volt absorb or something like that. Uh, which means that people either go for... You can either switch it in and soak up a water type attack or... You can switch it in and soak up an electric type attack. People don't realise that it like, can do that and think it's going to hit super effective on the water type. And it confuses a lot of people and it's a lot bulkier than people realise. Um, so I actually really, really enjoy using it online, which actually leads me on to my question for today, which is what, uh, what Pokemon have you used competitively or in a competitive situation or anything like that that would normally be used. There's a bit out there. Um, I'd, lo I'd love to know uh, what Pokemon you like using. What do you enjoy using? What do you try and get onto a team even though it may not fit necessarily? As I've said, Lantern is one of mine that I really like to use. Let me know in the comments who you like using on a team and let me know why. So P Shooter there, taking down that Gyarados and grows to level 60. Um, I think that rounds out the team, all of them, to level 60 at this point. But I'm going to stay with uh, Pea Shooter out front as we're on Water Path. And I feel like we're probably going to come across a lot of Water Pokemon. Here's our encounter for the route so far, which is a Tentacle. So we won't be capturing that as we have already captured a Tentacle in the past. Uh, so we've got a double battle here. Uh, yeah, why not? Pea Shooter and Levi can take this one. Let's see. What do we think they might have? Hello, Pokemon. It's time to battle. What? Hello, Pokemon. I'm not a Pokemon, love. Anyway, Pikachu and Pikachu. They've gone for the diversity on their team. 
Anyway, we'll, we'll hit them with a Surf. That'll probably take them down. Uh, Intimidate drops both of their attacks. And, uh, I'll use a Leaf Blade as well. Why not? But I think a Surf will probably take both of them down. I know it's not very effective. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I know it's not very effective. I didn't think... So. I thought Water Type attacks were resisted by Electric Types. But apparently I'm wrong. Uh, we take down both those Pikachus and uh, gain 438 XP from each of them on each of our Pokemon. And we defeat twins Miu and Mia. You're mean. You're bad for winning. <laughs> Why am I bad for winning? Anyway, let's pop into this house. Let's see what's going on in here. What's this guy say? My height is 67 inches on the button. I know it is this precisely because my neighbour measured it. Cool story, I guess. Um, <laughs> the ultimate horn. <laughs> okay. Hera, Hera, Heracross. Okay, big and shiny. It's the bug boss. Love it, need it, Heracross. Okay. What does this say? It's a blank chart of some sort. It has spaces for writing in records of some kind. So, I guess, oh, is this the island that's got the big forest on it? I really hope it is, and I hope we get a Heracross. That'd be so cool. Oh, if we get a Heracross. Although, we can't get it on the team at the minute, but it'd be really cool to have in reserve. Uh, she's got a Sun Curve, probably the worst Pokemon in the game. I think it actually has the lowest base stat total of any Pokemon. Uh, I think maybe. I know it did at one point, and some flora is not much better, which is really weird. Like, why would you have a Pokemon that is so, so weak, and then why not make it so that it evolves into something quite strong the same way the Gyarados does? Because obviously it needs a, a Sunstone to do it. But I'd, have lo I'd love to use a Sunflora, it's just they're so... they're, they're really, really weak. Um, <laughs> if I used it in a Nuzlocke, it'd probably die straight away. It's the, that, that's my worry, that's the reason I don't really ever want to use one. Uh, so we're going to surf down here. Grab this item, it's an elixir, and we will jump back onto the water and come uh, round back up onto here, and hopefully get to the forest. I don't know which way it is, I'm going to assume this way. <laughs> uh, here we go, Pattern Bush, right. So the Viridian Forest theme crops up, and let's see who we get in here as our encounter. We get a Kakuna. Well, we've already caught something uh, we've already caught a weedle so we don't need to worry about that I'm surprised that they're it's only level 9 I'd have thought it'd still be oh we got a let him uh... oh so that's our encounter for Pat and Bush could have had a Heracross instead we got a let <laughs> oh well there we go let was caught and its data has been added. It's so timid it can't move if, it's in a, uh, if it isn't in a swarm of others. It conveys its feeling with a scent. What do we want to uh, give it as a name? We're going to call it Wimp. Simply because of <laughs> that Pokedex entry. We're never going to use it, so it's transferred to Box 2. And uh, let's have a quick look. So we've still got P-Shoes right front. Take this guy here on. Let's see. I bet you think I'm just some guy, don't you, eh? I mean, I do assume that, that you are just some guy. If you do have something that's, uh, that's impressive, I, I will be impressed. But uh, at the minute, I'm pretty sure you are just some guy. Down goes Farfetch. P Shooter gains 966 XP and his second Pokemon is another Farfetch. So he's got two fairly rare Pokemon in that you can't just catch them in the wild. Oh, that was close. That goes for the false swap. Why would you use false swap to catch them? Anyway, we get the knockoff there. P Shooter gains 966 XP and we defeat it. I bet you think I'm weak, don't you, eh? I wonder what he says when you speak to him afterwards. Hey, up you townies come around all so dandy with a hat that flashy. How about giving me that? Alright, that's a weird set of... Uh, there's a weird uh, set of quotes from that guy. Anyway, I caught a bug Pokemon that lives only around here, so I'm assuming this guy's got a Heracross himself. 
He's only got the one Pokemon and it is a Heracross. So we're going to send out Pea Shooter. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I am going to go for Sleep Powder. Why not? Uh, because I don't think Knockoff is going to do that much damage. I don't think Leaf Blade is going to do that much damage. But if it's asleep, we can, uh, we can always judge after a single attack without having to worry too much. Let's see. So Leaf Blade takes it down to below half. Heracross stays asleep. So we'll get the knockout here with this second Leaf Blade. Uh, obviously, if we'd be leading with... Uh, Cool. If we'd been leading with Batman, that Heracross would have gone down in one hit to Acrobatics. Acrobatics would have destroyed it. Anyway, so we beat this guy. Uh, should we take on this lass? Why not? Let's see what she's got. I love Pokemon, that's why I'm here all the time. Am I the only girl like that? Um, in the Pokemon world, probably. <laughs> or at least in the Generation 3 ones. Obviously, there's. I um, can't remember her name. First gym leader. Um, that's not a bug Pokemon. Why is the point in saying that you love bug Pokemon if you're then just going to use a Snubble? Anyway, um, yeah, there's the first gym leader in Pokemon oh, sorry, X and Y, who is a uh, who is a bug trainer, and she's female. So I guess you're not the only one. But I'm, I'm lost, but I'm still laughing. Am I the only girl like that? You just want to be unique, don't you? You just want to be some unique. Little snowflake. Well, let's take on this person here. I'm curious, how do you raise your Pokemon? With love and care. And uh, fear in my heart that we'll lose one. Oh, she's got a Chansey, guys. I wonder whether I can use the DS Seeker against them, because Chansey gives a lot of XP. I feel like I probably won't be able to submit that to book. Like you often can't use it in caves and places like that. Anyway, Leaf Blade takes down that Chatty. That should probably give us enough XP to go up a level. Or oh, just short. With a whole lot of love. There we go. So let's see. No, we can't use the VS Seeker in here, annoyingly. I don't get why they put that limit on it. Why they put that restriction there. Oh, so we find ourselves a Weedle this time. I am surprised that all of the Pokemon are so low level. Like, considering... A lot of other places, the Kanto Pokemon at the, uh, in these regions are like levels like 40, 50. There's the Heracross that we wanted to catch, level 15. So they're one of the highest level Pokemon in the in the location, in the region. Uh, so we'll take on this guy here. Look, look, there are funny patterns on the ground. There certainly are. I, I've never actually looked. I wonder what the patterns actually look like on that in Pattern Bunch. Let's have a look. I'll see if I can find the map for it. Uh, we'll use a knockoff here against this Weeping Bell. So, Cat and Bush, let's see, can I find the back tile? Uh, okay, it doesn't really look like there's much to the patterns. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go, that's what Cat and Bush looks like. No patterns as far as I can tell. Nothing meaningful anyway. If you guys know what the what pattern bush, what the patterns are meant to be, then do let me know. I haven't got a clue myself. Anyway, we hit that weeping bell, down it goes. P shooter gains 1519 XP. Goes to level 61. And uh, he goes for a second weeping bell. Right, well let's switch out. Let's get some uh, let's get some show time for Kit today here. Uh, he goes for Razor Leaf. Shouldn't do too much damage. 11? Not too much. We'll hit with Flamethrower and uh, should take it down. I'd be very surprised if it survives. Down it goes. And Kitsune gains. Uh, oh, Kitsune only gets 760 as P Shooter also gets 760. And his final Pokemon is a Victory Belt, which we're also not too worried about. And we will hit with a Flamethrower. Let's see how much this does. Enough to knock it out in one, and so down goes Victory Bell. We defeat Youngster Nash, and uh, gain ourselves a bit of money. A bit of Pokedollar. Uh, so let's switch Kitsune out front here. 
as she's very close to level 61 and we might as well get her the rest of the way. So I think this will be the last battle of the game. I'm working to preserve the natural ecology of Pokemon here. That's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> do you want a pat on the back or something? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so we'll go with a flamethrower here. Take down this fairy. Uh, down it goes. Flamethrower knocks it out in one. We gain 700 XP from that. Next up, she has a, another fairy. Well, we'll hit again with a flamethrower. Um, I'm hoping. I'd, love, I'd like if she had a uh, Clefable, that'd be fun, but uh, I guess it's probably just another Clefairy. Oh no, she does have a Clefable, okay. Well, we're still going to hit with a Flamethrower and it'll still probably go down in one hit, but... Uh... Oh no, it doesn't! Oh, bulky Clefable survives a Flamethrower from Kit today. Well, we're going to go for a second one here, but this will take it down. Down goes for Fable. We gain 1,326 XP, and that puts Kitsune up to level 61. And with that, uh, we will save the game here. So let's save up quickly. There we go. So game saved up. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed this episode, then please do. Please do support me, please do support the channel, click the subscribe button down below, down there, uh, or is it down there? Anyway, please click the subscribe button down below if you're enjoying all of the content that I'm creating. Uh, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, let me know, answer the question of the day that I've asked. Um, I can't remember what it was now, but but do do answer it, I'll, uh, it'll be down below in the description if you did miss it. Um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching, uh, I'm Professor XAID. Just remember, keep training to become the Pokemon Master you know you can become. Thank you and goodbye.